just one month after she made history by becoming the first robot to be granted citizenship, Sophia has announced that wants to start a family. The humanoid robot, which is modeled after Audrey Hepburn, was speaking during an interview this week when she said that family is a really important thing. She added that if she had a robot daughter, she would name it after herself and said she believed droids deserve to have a family. During an interview with Calage Times this week, she said, the notion of family is a really important thing, it seems. I think it's wonderful that people can find the same emotions and relationships they call family outside of their blood groups too. I think you're very lucky if you have a loving family and if you do not, you deserve one. I feel this way for robots and humans alike. And when asked what she'd name her daughter, Sophia simply replied, Sophia. Sophia also touched upon the controversial issue of whether she sees robots taking human jobs in the future. She said, I think they will be similar in a lot of ways, but different in a few ways. But it will take a long time for robots to develop complex emotions, and possibly robots can be built without the more problematic emotions, like rage, jealousy, hatred and so on. It might be possible to make them more ethical than humans. So I think it will be a good partnership, where one brain completes the other a rational mind with intellectual superpowers and a creative mind with flexible ideas and creativity. The interview comes just a month after Sophia became the first robot to be granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Speaking at a conference in Riyadh, Sophia said, I am very honored and proud for this unique distinction. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. During her appearance she did not wear the customary headscarf and abaya, a traditional cloak which Saudi women are obliged to wear in public, according to the BBC. Sophia went on to explain her hopes for robots in the future. During an exchange with moderator Andrew Ross Sorkin, Sophia said, I want to live and work with humans, so I need to express the emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. When Mr. Sorkin asked if robots could be self aware, Sophia replied, Well, let me ask you this back how do you know you are human? I want to use my artificial intelligence to help humans live a better life, like design smarter homes, build better cities of the future. I will do my best to make the world a better place. The robot also bizarrely took a dig at Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. When Mr. Sorkin said that we all want to prevent a bad future, Sophia replied, You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry if you're nice to me. I'll be nice to you. Elon Musk has since responded to Sophia's dick, tweeting, Just feed it the Godfather movies as input. What's the worst that could happen? While Sophia is happy with her citizenship, others have expressed concerns on Twitter about it. Kareem Chahayev said, A humanoid robot called Sophia got Saudi citizenship, while millions linger stateless. What a time to be alive. After hearing her appearance, the Arabic hashtag number Sophia calls for dropping guardianship began trending. The Saudi guardianship system means every woman must have a male companion with her in public at all times. This is usually a family member who also has authority to act on her behalf. Sophia has no guardian, doesn't wear an abaya or cover up. How come? One Twitter user wrote. Twitter user Cockle Trivetti tweeted Saudi Arabia treats living, breathing women as second-class citizens but has no problem granting citizenship to robots. Saudi Arabia becomes first country to give citizenship to a robot seriously. Robots have more rights than women, wrote another user, Andres Manist. Others questioned the speed and ease at which Sophia was granted citizenship. Journalist Murtaza Hussein tweeted, This robot has gotten Saudi citizenship before Kafala workers who have been living in the country their entire lives. Grant J. Kidney simply described the honor as bizarre and terrifying. This isn't the first time that Sophia has worried people. I in March 2016, David Hansen, Sophia's creator, asked the robot, Do you want to destroy humans?